Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Trials again and we are going to take a look at the experiment we set up last week. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. As you can see, there is a floating hatchery on top of the aquarium surface again. Um, bad news is, um, well, the Nobly didn't make it. Um, unfortunately, uh, there are um, several Nobly that have caught on the objects, got stuck on the objects that are placed inside uh, the aquarium. Also, a weird phenomenon occurred that also killed some of the triops uh, Nobly. Uh, for that reason, I'm actually trying to evacuate uh, the current Nobly that are still alive into the hatchery. And uh, I'm going to try to save as much as possible and try to, um, well, transfer them again, just like the old method uh, that I created, basically, uh, the floating hatchery method, when I transfer them to the... Um, bottom of this uh, aquarium to the main tank uh, thing is i was kind of disappointed i actually hoped that i was able to see them grow up inside this tank but it was not uh, possible with the, the current setup i'm not completely sure what the actually causes of their deaths uh, but i think it's mostly uh, getting stuck onto things and uh, not be able to find enough food in such a large uh, quantity of water as well uh, i think that's one of the problems that actually might, might have killed them um, as you can see, I'm not sure if the camera is able to pick up, but sometimes you can actually see uh, the Nopoli swimming by, um, trying to catch up with them, trying to catch them and actually place them back inside this uh, floating hatchery. We're going to take a look at this floating hatchery in several uh, seconds, let's say minutes. Um, first, we're going to take a look at the weird phenomenon that actually occurred. Uh, I have actually zero clues what this is, but some kind of uh, aquatic spider web formed over here. I think it's some kind of mold uh, that occurs on wood. Um, but it's possible that this actually killed some of the Nopoli. I actually removed most of it to try to prevent it, but it actually grows fast and really crazy uh, on every object. It actually was growing on the moss balls as well, uh, producing oxygen, which uh, leaves these bubbles on the moss ball. Um, strange occurrence. If you guys actually have some kind of clue what this stuff is, I would really like to know what this is because it's actually it has killed my triops possibly. Um, here you can see a little snail that hitchhiked on the um, uh, decorations that I put in. Um, so there might be some kind of stuff that's coming that I came in that was not that good for the triops Nopoli. But still, I tried it and um, now I actually set up this uh, floating hatchery again. We're gonna take a look at the little triops Nopoli that are inside. As you can see, there are still Nopoli inside. Over here, there are some Nopoli, really active. So they are definitely not poisoned. Uh, as you can see, they are currently trying to molt as well. You can see them falling back down. Uh, trying to get up again and falling back down again. That's usual uh, Nobblier behavior. This is just them trying to find the surface, trying to molt, get into their next stage of Nobbly, Nobblier form. As you can see, there are some other Nobbly over here. There's actually quite a bunch of them, but that's fine. I actually need quite a f quite a lot of them. I actually want to see what kind of species uh, these eggs are, and if it's a mystery mix, I actually want to find out if there are more species that are able to uh, hatch from these eggs. So uh, I actually need some extra specimens to find out what it is. Actually, hey, I just found a really active nobly over here. Give me a second, guys. So they are not all, not all of them are dead actually. They are still alive. We need to catch them as soon as possible. Here is another one by the way. The little dot. Let me catch them as soon as possible. That's one. Now we need number two. That's actually a bigger one. Um, it's possible that this one actually is bigger than the others and actually might hurt the others, but I just want don't I just don't want any of them dying inside here. Just, so I'm just gonna catch this one as well. Got him. Let's see. Oh, 
I'm sorry guys, just need to put them in really fast and then zoom in later. Yeah, I got it. Definitely. It's a really fast one as well. So that's a really healthy little Nopoli. I'm glad I got it. Glad I saw it actually. Yeah, there are quite a bunch of Nopoli in here actually right now. Um, I was going at ho and hoping to actually catch about 20 of them. And uh, try to continue the experiment with these, but transferring them later as usual. Um, just going to use the classic Triassic Park Traps uh, floating hatchery method. If you actually don't know what, how this method works or want to find out and want to learn it, uh, there is a pretty old video on my uh, YouTube channel. You can find it uh, there over there. It's just called uh, Hatching uh, Trials the Triassic Park Traps Way, I think. And uh, it explains how the floating hatchery method works from the start, basically. Um, this is a adjusted version because I actually hatched them inside the aquarium, but they are not capable of surviving in there. So I'm evacuating them to this uh, classic uh, floating hatchery again, just to make sure they are not dying inside this dead cube uh, below here. I will try to make uh, it safe for them later. And... Uh, in the meanwhile, they will be just staying over here and where I can feed them some spirulina, they will definitely be more able to find it over here instead of inside this aquarium. That's basically a point that's actually uh, a possibility that some of the Nopoli were actually surviving in here, some weren't. But I actually had quite a lot of Nopoli so, uh, hatching. But I actually don't see that many tribes anymore. So that's kind of worrying me. It could be possible that they are still roaming around inside the tank. I will just leave them in there if they are able uh, to survive in there. If they are a little bit bigger uh, than Little Nopoli. I'm just uh, a little bit worried because I saw like 40 hatchlings. And I can only find back like 20 right now. So I think there already died about 20 of them. That's too much. So we're just going to try to continue and find some extra Nopoli. In the meanwhile, I'll just try to explain what kind of stuff was going on in the last several days. Um, basically, we are uh, just going to take a look around and see if we can actually spot some little tiny Nopoli. I actually don't see many of them anymore. I think I got most of them that were actually alive right now. So let's take a look at them for a second. Let me uh, put the hatchery a little bit more up, f up front. There's not that much water inside it yet, but I did that on purpose just to make sure that there is um, not too much water for them to um, explore uh, just to make sure they can find their food pretty easily and readily available i added a little stick again just hoping they are not going to be get stuck on it again but just hoping they can find some food of it uh, i will give them a little tiny bit of spirulina algae power i'm not completely sure how old these nopoli are so i'm just going to assume they might be actually a little bit older because they are quite mobile already um, this might be their first like let's say 16 hours so I'm just gonna wait like a little bit and uh, feed them tomorrow morning possibly just to make sure they are not gonna starve to death um, that's basically why I added this little stick if there is some detritus on it they're definitely gonna find it on this stick I'm 100% sure as you can see there's all kinds of little tiny bits and things on it that they can actually feed on and graze on so i'm just gonna hope that this is going to be sufficient for them otherwise i will just add some of it uh, later but anyways i will feed them spirulina algae powder tomorrow anyways um thing is uh, i'm hoping i would actually be able to see several more of them but i actually cannot right now oh i actually spotted one give me a second guys i'm actually gonna try and catch it give me a second I just spotted another one, really deep low inside the tank. Oh, here is another one actually, I just spotted two of them, that's great. I'm just gonna try to survive, if I make as much of, well, excuse me guys, I'm just gonna try to make as much of them survive, be able to survive inside the hatchery instead of this uh, main tank. I'm um, just hoping that this will actually work out as well. I'm not completely sure. I just really need to say that as well. Uh, it, this is new for me as well. That's basically what I was been doing three years already. Uh, trying to experiment some things with traps, making it a uh, more easily 
readily available hobby to other people as well doing the tutorials uh, sharing info and unfortunately with trying things uh, comes that actually the tribes can sometimes die because I make um, wrong decisions or it just doesn't work out that's unfortunately part of the game um, but still um, that's also why I'm trying to evacuate as much Nopoli as possible because I just have the feeling that this is not gonna work out right now but I actually was able to catch some of them so uh, let's have uh, find out if they are going to survive inside this hatchery um, I just catch two more by the way I'm um, just taking a look at the substrate as well, substrate as well. But I can't see much activity going on over here, unfortunately. So I'm just going to take a look because uh, at the top, because traps usually travel towards the light. And that's because that third eye is actually guiding them towards the light. So usually I just try to look at the top um, because that's where the traps normally will usually travel towards. Nope, I can't see much Nopoli going on over here. Unfortunate, but still, we got some Triops Nopoli inside the hatchery currently. And, um, well, if this is it, um, let's say we're going to try to keep these alive and uh, transfer them later. Um, if you're interested in following uh, this uh, experiment, feel free to tune in next time. I'm going to upload more videos about this subject and uh, about the progress of these Nopoli. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and stuck through all the whole video, thank you for watching this video till the end. I really appreciate it. It definitely boosts my algorithm that kind of got busted when I didn't have as much time to be on YouTube as I wanted to. But still, uh, feel free to put a thumbs up on the video, which actually, actually also will help the channel out a bit more to get a little bit more uh, activity going on. Uh, maybe more people will actually join the hobby and it will be fun, I think. Um, hope to see you guys next time. And these Nopoli, hope to see you guys next time as well. See you later, guys.